Pollution generated from dirty energy sources like coal is making our planet's temperatures more extreme every year. We're in serious need of clean energy sources, and nuclear fusion seems like an enticing option. And what does all of this have to do with the sun? The visible surface of the sun, called the photosphere, is a blazing 5,500 degrees Celsius, but it's still somehow cooler than the Earth's core at about 6,000 degrees Celsius. The sun releases most of its energy by fusing two hydrogen atoms, forming helium. This process is called nuclear fission, and it releases vast quantities of nuclear energy. On the sun, that's about 200 million watts per square meter. But where does all this energy come from? Well, the combined mass of two hydrogen atoms is less than the mass of a single helium atom. As Einstein said, mass doesn't just disappear, it's instead converted into energy. To give you an idea of how much energy we're talking about here, fusing just a tablespoon of hydrogen atoms, which is about 14 grams, will produce about 14,000 megawatts of power. That's about twice the rated capacity of the world's biggest nuclear power plant. Basically, nuclear fusion delivers five times more energy than nuclear fission. That's the process that nuclear power plants go through. And it doesn't stop there. Nuclear fusion produces far less radioactive waste than a nuclear fission reaction. And when something goes wrong, it doesn't turn into a nuclear explosion. Nuclear fusion would be a cleaner and safer source of energy. Sounds pretty good, right? So why don't we start right away with building fusion reactors and saving ourselves from those dirty, nasty power plants? Sadly, it's not that simple. Fusing together two nuclei isn't as easy as bringing two balls close to each other and hoping that they'll just fuse together and give us tons of power. Nuclear fusion takes place at extremely high temperatures. At such high temperatures, the electrons from hydrogen atoms are ripped apart, and the free electrons in the nuclei coexist in an ionized medium called plasma. So in this plasma, the free hydrogen nuclei, which are positively charged, repel each other. So to fuse them together, these nuclei have to be accelerated to super high speeds by heating them to even higher temperatures. And when I say high, I'm talking millions of degrees high. So let's assume that we somehow manage to start a fusion reaction. Unlike fission reactions, we need more energy to keep the fusion reaction going. We would need to supply more energy than we can get back, so it's just a bit inefficient here. Also, trying to contain a fusion reaction in a traditional reactor isn't possible. This is because the reactor walls would just melt at such high temperatures. In fact, nobody has ever been able to build a working model of a fusion reactor, one that can actually be used to generate power. The technology simply isn't mature enough at the moment. So you're probably wondering, what's the point of all this? How do we actually make a sustainable fusion reactor without melting ourselves alive? Luckily, scientists have been hard at work, and they've already come up with some pretty interesting ideas. There are some theoretical designs for a working nuclear fusion reactor, and they're honestly pretty exciting. They're based on the idea that a fusion reaction, taking place in plasma, can be contained in such a way that it doesn't come in contact with the walls of the reactor, and that prevents the walls from melting. This is done using super powerful superconducting electromagnets. That's just a fancy term for a super powerful, super huge, super efficient magnet. Basically, you would be using levitation to hold up the plasma. Pretty cool, right? We're making steady progress towards building a real fusion power plant, but whether we'll be using one anytime soon, it's a bit too early to say. So let us know what you think of nuclear fusion in the comments below, along with any feedback you've got for us.